Good evening. Welcome to the Clinton Public Safety Building Committee meeting. This meeting is being recorded for cablecast and YouTube presentation by Area 58 Community Access Media. The video of this meeting is not to be considered an official public record. Okay, so let's get the business out of the way quickly. We have um, minutes from our last meeting. Does anybody have any amendments or comments they want noted? Fantastic. Okay. They were fantastic. Um, motion to accept the minutes as written. So moved. And second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Good. Okay. We also have an invoice from Context. Um, for $21,450, our OPM looked it over and agreed that this was a good invoice as far as spending $21,450 goes. <laughs> um, so a motion to um, forward this on to the selectmen for payment. So moved. And a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. 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 Um, okay. May I? So we've been pl plugging along, cutting and stretching and making things to get the project to work. Um, uh -oh. Financially. <laughs> I showed you last week that it can work. Um, we believe it can work if everything falls into place. And of course, we can get even a little more if the bids come in a little bit lower. It has slowed down a little bit. Um, which is encouraging because we're going out to bid in about a month. Um, so I'm, I'm a little more optimistic on at least the bidding part of it. Um, but, you know, I asked the architect not to come to the last couple of meetings because I wanted them to keep drafting rather than come drive all the way down here and talk to us about things that I thought I could handle. Um, but the fruits of their labor are sitting right in front of you. The invoices that you've been signing are, are sitting right in front of you. You have a, a pretty uh, close to finished set of drawings. Um, the specification booklet's not, not as far along. Uh, we are still working on the front end spec to, to be completed. I did reach out to uh, Greg Corbo uh, with uh, Copeland and Page as the permission that I got from the Board of Selectmen to do so. Um, so he and I are going back and forth. And I expect to be able to give that, that portion of the documentation to context in the next few days. But there are some things that I think that uh, the designers want to talk about. You know, do we take a left? Do we take a right? Do we go straight? And I think that maybe we ought to just um, take a deep breath and let Zell run this meeting and um, off you go. Okay. Um, well, I think we should start from the general and work to the specific. specific. Um, so the first thing, I'm not sure if you had discussed the revisions to the site plan last meeting. I did. Did you go over that? Yes. Okay. So and everybody- there was disappointment yes, on I'm sure. the parking situation. Right, so okay. let, let me just update um, as to what is currently the plan for the site and how that's going to sort of function as, as of right now, as of how, how we're looking at it, how our civil engineer is looking at it. So I think if you did brief everyone, basically, um, I, don't know if I brought the big set just to so you can look at it and something. Um, what's happened is in order to simplify um, and make all of the site utilities and drainage system and all of that as minimal, minimal and as, as least uh, cumbersome and expensive as possible, we have shifted the building slightly. It's moved back. It's about the same relationship parallel to, to town um, hall but it's shifted back slightly, about 25 feet or so back uh, from the street. And that was done to put it at the most, uh, at the flattest portion of the site so that there's the least amount of cut and fill and, um, and it's, it's in the most advantageous place. 
uh, just in general terms to, to make it all work. Um, the other thing we did, we eliminated a lot of the um, new paving work that was going to be done. And the idea being that we can basically attach an, the additional paving and additional parking to the existing parking area, assuming that that it gets approved, of course. Um, the idea was to er leave everything, out, everything in place and just add the parking to it. We're going to meet grades, minimize how we grade the site. We're going to uh, minimize the amount of subsurface drainage by letting water run off and uh, literally travel on the surface the way um, as much of it as, as possible. And to do that, we have to create a, uh, a detention area for water to go, to flow to, and that's downhill. So there'll be more clearing of trees uh, to do that. And, but it eliminates a lot of the, the expensive subsurface drainage that was in, in the plan originally. Um, I have a question. On that, yep. on that point about the trees, it looks yep. like what's being proposed though is that it's not cutting everything, it's cutting a inside. That's right. Here, so Basically that creating the road, so you're, not exactly. gonna, you're not gonna see more clearing <coughs> behind the station. Exactly, it's, it's, it's basically parallel with the building. And the exact amount of area, they were still working on calculating how much physical space is needed to, to hold that, retain the water while it drains through the, through the surface. So that's, that, that's not completed. I but have a question. Yes. You said that you moved it back. Is this what we talked about last time, or is this you moved it No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm just going over. Time. It's the same. It's, okay. it's, it's I'm just explaining except, why. It's, it's sort of I, what I showed you was an eight and a half by eleven, and yeah, what I said to you was in, instead of being parallel in the front, we're pulling it back. Right. Okay. So this is the pulling it back. Okay, that's but not yeah, much no, no, that's not in the additional no. movement. No, no, no. no. Okay. This is show, but this is showing it in a much more detailed. Yeah. Does this have to be dished out, or will the, the uh, existing slope? Well, the existing slope helps because it doesn't. That's that's the the nice part of it. The, what has to happen is that the slope will help because it'll drain that direction anyway, but we will have to create a, a low point, a bowl it's not to hold be a huge the water. Bowl. It won't be a huge bowl. No, I don't think so. Because it's not going to be huge. Again, I don't know the exact size uh, yet. There hasn't We're not adding that much impervious, so it can't be that right. big. Right, exactly. But we do have, well, we're adding the building. Right. All of the roof, no, I mean, they, they calculate. The two drywalls. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, in any case, that's sort of the... The basic, the basic issue. Now, there's a secondary part of this, which is, which is we have to make sure that, that I don't, I'm not sure whether there's any process to run this by uh, for 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 site plan review again. Did nothing. We did not have to. We're not required to go through site plan review. I just, what we just want to make sure. What we did do was we went before the planning board uh, yep. as a courtesy. Yep. And correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, there's nothing in your zoning bylaw that requires it. And why is it, why is it not required? Uh, it's not required because it's a municipal use. And that's not in the one of the uses that requires a site plan approval. I mean, I don't mind going back to them. So the, the question came up. Let me get back to you on that. Okay. Well, well, well basically the same as the trailer that's out here. That didn't have to go before when we went before when we went before the we went, went before them before even they had kind of admitted that we didn't need to be there but we were doing it as a courtesy as one big family and i mean i don't mind going back to them and doing it again but um there was nothing they could vote on because they didn't there was not there was nothing triggering us to be there yeah. it was informational to them and did something really bother them that we could try to fix when and they were very helpful when we're designing the bowl, is that being designed for exactly what's being put on this plan, or is it being designed for the future, future driveway? And because this is not going to stay like this. I mean, there's right. absolutely eventually no way. Yeah. Not even eventually. Probably sooner than later, because this is this is because we're not even widening this anymore. Right. 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 So now. this this yep. will have to change in the near future once the mm -hmm. building is built. Mm -hmm. So. 
Are we planning for the bowl to deal with what needs to happen in the next five years, or is the bowl being planned for that? Because I wouldn't want some issues coming up. That should well, no, there shouldn't be a problem with that, Matt. I'm just curious because it's again, no one's throwing water like a no storm water unless it's clay. You know, 100 percent clay out there. There really I, shouldn't be a problem. But that's not the question. I think the question is. Do we size it yeah, no, for no, future that, use now, or do we size it for is to meet the amount, of, the amount of impervious you'd be adding, even widening the road and bringing the road out to the street? Oh, is, is, is not significant. significant. It's it, yeah. So if, if that's what we're talking about, making the about, bowl larger is not a big deal. Yeah, if, it's if, if that's for eight hours. And besides, if if this currently drains down and away from this site, in other words, yeah. we're at a higher point here, I think. So I believe we're at a higher point. Yeah. It already drains yeah. off. It doesn't make any difference. It's right. not going to impact. As long as, if as long as designed for the driveway, right? I mean, that's going to be an alternate. Well, for no. Well, actually, well, I don't know. But I, I well, thought, we about that I thought that this, the actual new drive from the street, was a future. Item or, or I mean I, I, that's how I we understand. We talked about doing it as alternate number one all along. But I know, it's, but it's probably not going to be alternate number one. Not anymore. But, 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 but that's where well, ninety-five percent chance it's going to be. Ninety-eight percent chance it's going to be not accepted. But we still need to plan for it because it. So I just I just don't want us to do anything and save, you know, save twenty thousand dollars now and cost us forty thousand dollars later because we didn't. Think about where we're going to have to end up. Okay, that's, but, that's all my point. All right, but again, regardless of what happens when this is constructed, it has no impact on draining okay. of this side um, because it's just draining okay. right down to the street. Right. So, as it is perfect. today. As as it's but we do have to. I mean, we have to clarify this because uh, we need di to 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 direction. If we're actually going to have to include this as in the bid set, it's it's significant. Piece of work that has to. Uh, that well, let's go through all the other. Yeah. Okay. Well, right. that's, well, this is why. Uh, well, let's. So. So anyway, that's in general what's happening with the with the with the uh, with the site. Uh, now, <coughs> the uh, you probably know this meeting, the idea is to make the um, the Sally Port the ad alternate, but to prepare. All of the all of the required subsurface work, so that everything's in place, and then you just build, uh, enclose enclose it as the, as the alternate. And the one thing that well, two things we have to discuss regarding that, um, and those are well, I can I can just I can just talk about it. Um, all of the plumbing can be installed without any problem. Um, there are two issues with pouring the slab at this point in time. And that is, the slab was meant to be pitched to a drain funct for functional purposes when, when it's a garage. It has to be, right. by code. And we were going to design it to be accessible so that there's no step up into the main building. However, if, if for some reason we, do, we, we can't build, the, the alternate isn't accepted, we have to build the base bid without the structure, placing the slab now create two problems. One is that the, the drainage has to be controlled. We can't, we have to block, either block off the, the drain so that storm water isn't going into the holding tank. Two is. Stop right there. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. The reason he's saying that is because <clears throat> under Title V, the drain does not go to the, the leaching it's system and get leached. No, it, it has to be self-contained into yep. a, a tight tank. Yep. So obviously, if it's open to the air and it's raining, you're going to be pumping out a tank every two or three months, right. and that's ridiculous. Right. Right? So, so that can't. So we'd have to either either modify. And prep it for prep all the work for the drain and not put in the drain, actually block off 
where the drain would be with a piece of slab. And then subsequent, if, if, we, if we don't build, if we have to do the base bid without the addition, we just don't, that just won't be functional until such time that we build, that you build the, the garage. It's not that, well, you could, but it's not that simple. Here's what's going to happen. If the, if the slab is pitched, you're going to have ponding of water in the middle of that all the time. Because it's pitched to that drain. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a little, comp I mean, it becomes a little complicated. Why you and it's designed for, a, you know, a field oil. Field <coughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so what we're, we're talking to the engineers about how to resolve this and, and one of the suggestions, well, there's two. One is you don't actually install the drain now. You have the pipe come up to below grade and just capped, and then you just have a, we know where it is, and you just lift up a, that piece of slab and you, you finish it all when the time comes. That's, that's one issue. The second issue is do we create a step to get into uh, the holding? Uh, no. Well... Okay, but again, you're going to have ponding here, which is could get back I sitting would, against I the would building. I recommend you just put 21A down and can't leave it as a as, as gravel. To okay, so so we don't a we slab don't slab for that size is two thousand dollars even at prevailing weight. Yeah, no, no, the slab isn't expensive. It's right. just that that so it was our understanding. Okay, so that's that's what I was going to say is that if we don't pour the slab, we but can have a little bit of at least 21A down so that he can park a car on it, okay, that it drains, and then it looks finished, because when it's done, it's, that's going to be where you bring the Well, business. it can, yeah, it can, well, if it's, once it's paved, there's got to be, there's going to be water. Not talking about paved. So okay, we're, we're talking about just, the okay, so like just, that. yeah, crush the crush. Crush the crush. Yeah. yeah. Line, yeah. I call it 1-1-8 because it's a lot of buildings. Crush, crush line. stone. Right. What about treating it like a carport? Well, let's. Just put a, just put a roof over it. And you're no sides. Paying for a roof. Well, well, I know. You, you yeah, you could, that could be done. I don't. And it costs us a lot of money to save a lot of money. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm not in favor of losing the Sally Port. No, I me neither. Neither am I. But mind. if it's at the cost of keeping the building, well, it's, it's yeah. You build the building, you don't. I mean, that's that's our issue here. It's not. I don't think there's anyone. <coughs> that shouldn't have I mean, to we're all we're all hopeful that it'll come in. And it won't be a problem. Is that's it around the alternate, or is this the only alternate we have? Well, right now, well, this this is well, this was this is the primary alternate. The primary. There may be some a few other alternates, but those are going to be killing smaller me. pieces of. You're killing money. me. So. I mean, the basement's gone into loose the cellar. We never had a basement, so it's a basement. I know, so basement. you don't have to worry about it flooding, so I don't know why we're worried about the groundwater. It's not like the basement's going to get full of water. <laughs> Well, in any case... And we do need site plan approval according to the bylaw, so save it. Where? Right here, it says... Uh, well. Approval of the site plan by the planning board shall be required before any building permit may be issued with the exception of single and two-family dwellings. So you're going to come and see us and get this approved. That's not what they said when we were in there last night. I can't yeah. listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. It's a Campanelli ranch on a slab. It's a yeah. single family. It's a single family. Hey, basically. It's a single family house it's with a blue big, light. That's right. Well, it is basically a big so single family. We'll go through site plans. It's not a big deal. It is what it is. And anything else that's um, listed that's asked for can't be afforded. So, so I, I guess. We can't afford to fix a site. Then we'll. Yeah. I, I guess we need some some kind of resolution again to to, to, to sort of focus about how we're going to approach this because if it that doesn't work, if if it doesn't work to use this as the alternate, then we have to look at other ways to do it. But I, I'm just kind of filling you in on what we see as, as technical issues mm -hmm. regarding that. What you know, how you want to decide. Proceed. That's a different story. We don't. Uh, I mean, we don't have the exact numbers yet. I mean, we haven't gone out to bid. And no, we, we don't have spent exact. all the money that we're kind of appropriate. No, but but I went through all of that at the last meeting. So you know, we proved that at the current estimate, and by taking all of the suggestions that we made at the last two meetings, you will be having a brand new police station. Yep. 
what was sacrificed was additional parking that you're upset about, mm -hmm. a basement that you're upset about, yep. and possibly a sally port. Of course, the money. final estimate is oh, the me bid. Too. And yeah. if the bid comes me in too. under, we start adding It's an integral part of a police station. I was over the basement months ago. The you the could be to bring it up and we need it. get over. Um, Someone's going to have to get sacrificed here, so I'm going to move. Uh, the one other thing I just wanted to mention regarding site is the number of parking spaces that, that are actually shown on the plan. Because the configuration of the existing, I'm, I'm, you know, however you utilize this right now, um, this is shown to, with a new arrangement, basically showing just a line of, you know, 10 spaces along, along the building, along Town Hall here and uh, 10 spaces plus the handicap requirement along, along the, uh, the new building. So that's a total of 21 spaces shown. And the reason for that is we have to maintain, we have to maintain clearances for the future 24 foot wide roadway that's gonna come through here at some point. So that's, that's all that's being shown for now regardless of how you actually you park in, the, in this existing lot. What I'm looking at right now, we, we, we could live with this parking as long okay. as they don't try to shift any parking, and I think that's what they want to do in the town hall is okay. shift okay. some. So this, is, this, this will be adequate. Uh, we could live with unless it, but there's like more, sure. But it, it unless it there's some zoning requirement about parking that's related to either occupancy or size of building or or whatever we have to we'd have to look look at that if we're going to have to go through that we don't process. need the requirements now so yeah. okay <laughs> well all right so that anyway that's on this area, are there handicap is there handicap no we're not because the, the the way the code reads is that only one handicap space is required up to i think 25 spaces once you get past 25 you need two so one actually suffices. We had two shown before because before, as you remember, we had the <coughs> more we had developed we shown more spaces. So, but that that's no longer the case, and only one is actually required by code for this. To the police station, but but that's a different. You you have okay, you, you guys existed. We're not changing anything. So but. if we don't get the Sally Port, then we have to keep the trailer and the other charm of things. My, it's, my plan is to try to get those relocated to the transfer station at, at some point. Um, Sally Port, yeah, it's done. my vision is now that we'll unload a prisoner in the slab, he'll run out and back and drown him in the retention. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's, he's going to try to make the great the getaway in the pond. Yeah. <laughs> Say that you don't think the first sentence of 6.7.1, yeah, like the first sentence that says it has to be in a business like manufacturing or industrial district. Oops. We're in the residential district yeah. with a municipal use. That's why I don't think you need it. Yeah. You think we need it? Get a zoning permit. Now you may tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Who signed that? That's me. Oh. <laughs> well. And okay. When I write you a formal letter, so you can write me. I can feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get the Sally Porter. Now, be, good be, thing I'm not down that end of the table. I swear to God. Okay. Before we before we leave, sort of the, the site issues. If there's a a very strong want to increase the size of this drive, we could always make it an alternate. It's not big money in this case. If that's something that's really important, because it is a two-way street here, it's not a street, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. If if people are, are want wanting to do that, we could just indicate it. It's not difficult to just show it. Why <laughs> you make a suggestion? Yeah. Right? Let's 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 go through all of the things that we that's think fine. we want as alternates. Okay. Well, and prioritize. That's, I mean, that's what I thought this meeting was going to be. All the things that want, that. Aren't per perfect per what we want. Okay. Let's have an alternate for 
Okay, so so I think did did you run through some of the cuts that that were no, being we all, all of cuts. the cuts? Okay, they were not right. too happy. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. So not to go to. Yeah. My tires were slashed. I had to get a new truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Didn't well, <laughs> so so they did. Ticket on the way out. <laughs> 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 so the, uh, as you know, the uh, we pre we're preparing two, basically two two sets of plans, not literally, but to show that that the that the Sally program is going to be added. But that's going to that's going to affect some of our uh, how we treat this the the back wall of, of the building, and so so we've got. Um, Elevations that we've revised based on, on those issues. Plus, we've also um, done some reduction of trim work, and uh, we're also contemplating, well, hopefully proceeding with a relocation of of uh, intake and exhaust to to minimize to the duct work inside Which the attic. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a general thing that we're doing. For, wrong. Good. Yeah, so just so wasn't that's, enough reduction to the basement. Yeah, no, it's, so anyway, so that's that's sort of what we've been looking at, and uh, oops. But since we're talking about the exterior, um, and we're 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 talking about cutting back um, and con conceivably bidding it as as vinyl and then potentially upgrading it to to hardy plank, we've actually. Come, I've actually come across a material that I'm hoping we can go out to try to bid, which, oh, that's right here. It's actually a product that looks better. I was hoping to have a sample to bring tonight. It was this supposed the, to be mailed to me. Resin board? It's actually it's PVC, uh, yeah. but it's a recycled content. It's bound together with PVC, and it has... It, this is what it looks like. It's installed just like vinyl, so it's really easy to go up and it's lightweight, except the difference is, compared to vinyl, it's actually like an eighth of an inch thick. It's strong mater material, lasts forever. And it's a plank at a time. Instead. It goes in, <laughs> yeah, it has a hook. It has the same exact profile as, as, as vinyl. The vinyl hooks from the bottom. You just keep hooking one to the other. What about the what about the corners? You know it what? has they they come they they right. have the, their own PVC put, trim that re recedes. So we have we can put a PVC can, corner on it. Yep, you can That's do it. The they have their own. Thing. They have their own. Otherwise Plus they have like they actually have a wide selection of decent colors, and um, I saw the sample, but I, I like I said I had it mailed to us, but it didn't make it. But it, it, it looks, to me, up close, I held it in my hands. It looks better than, than vinyl. Well, it okay. feels a lot better than vinyl. What's it called? It's called Everlast. So let's talk about this and for a second. It's advanced composite siding. It's not cementitious, nor does it have any wood fibers like the, the, okay. the, the, the other With stuff. With regard to siding, you're yes. going to have to put it in with cementitious. Why? And give them an option for cementitious and give them the option for that. And give because we have to have three manufacturers. Right. And so if, I don't know if you there can are find three, three manufacturers man with that tip that. The problem. Well. So if you put in cementitious and you put in that, they're gonna gravitate to that if it's cheaper because that's what they're gonna do. Yeah. But we have to by statute have three. Except except I, uh, any municipality can vote on going yeah. proprietary with the and product if it the serves the public in, in the and public what interest. What would be the rationale for proprietary? In I mean, this particular case, yeah, cost. How does the cost compare? So well, it's cheaper it's than a lot cheaper. it's a lot cheaper than cementitious or or the or hardy plank, it's cheaper on and the it's more side. it's going to be more expensive than regular vinyl, right? But less expensive than than. And I would think it would be. Because it's a lot more easier to install. To the vinyl installation price than the it, cementitious. The installation. Is ex installation is expensive. Yes. Now, is, so, it, is it straight PVC? It, it's a composite of ah. materials, but it's not just PVC. So it's it not, uses, the sunlight doesn't affect it like no. it would a straight PVC. No. 
No, it has, it's, it's a UV stable. Um, it's, a, it's a triple composite of polymer resins or inorganic minerals and acrylic colorants. And it's a it's lifetime a, guarantee on this. Sir. Well, I, I don't, I, you but know. But it ain't I'm like sure Everlast. What. I hope it's, it's a long yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, they, they claim, I don't know what they claim for. Uh, I, I was waiting Is to get the samples. anywhere in New England? Yes, actually, it's, well, you can, you can see here how thick it is. But you can also see that, that it's, it's hooked just like a... Is it installed vinyl. anywhere that I can go take a look at it? I don't know. Uh, I'll find out. I'll find out. It's, uh, it's, ma it's actually manufactured in western Massachusetts, I believe. Or at least the distributor, the distributor is western Mass. Do you know and where in western Mass? I can, I'll find out. Uh, I can get the information. Like I said, they were sending me samples. Yeah. It just didn't arrive today. It yeah, should have. I don't mind going by picking up samples on my way out to uh, Greenfield on Thursday. I gotta, so, go, I gotta go to uh, Irving. So basically, what the sales, the, I mean, the pitch is that 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 it's easy to install, lightweight, but much, 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 much better than vinyl siding, and and it should be labor-wise much less expensive than than any of the. Will this reflect heavier on products. like the labor costs, or is this just going to reflect on the material? Well. It should fall below labor the cost. Labor should be a lot less. Labor should be quite a bit less, and the material should be less than the problem the that point. I see with it is that I, you know, it, if it's so new, how do we how, know how, do, yeah. how do they know well, the price well, is lower? Well, I don't, well, I don't know how long school. it's been around. Right. Actually, frankly, I don't know how long it's been around. I don't have enough information I, uh, about it. I'm more concerned about the three, to be honest with you. And I just. I don't yeah, mind going well. for proprietary spec and asking the board of selectmen to ask for proprietary spec if, for example, you have the same fire alarm system in all buildings, we can ask for a proprietary spec. No, I understand. I've never gone for proprietary spec for solely for money. If that was the case, then people would be getting around the bid laws consistently. Yeah. So I don't think you're going to get that case, and I don't think it will pass muster with the IG. Yep. However, okay. I, well. I don't mind swinging in the air on uh, tomorrow on my way out to Irving for my night meeting in Irving. I'll go out a couple hours early. I'll go to the distributor, get some color samples, and see if they have any uh, product data just to double check the product data for longevity and to see if they have any competitors. Because you if they, phone number? They're going to know if they have competitors. Yep. You want if they have competitors, we'll list the competitors in there. If you want a phone number of the air distributor. I'm going to take so that you know. from you. What? <laughs> <laughs> I have a concern. When the fire station was built, yeah. the ballpark was right behind it, and they got a lot of baseball sure. into the siding. What's what's? Well, they, how is they, that going to hold up? They that's the, baseball. That's the thing. It, they're saying I, that I, it's that it will hold up. Okay. In fact, they show baseball hitting it, okay. and awesome nothing happens to it. I know. I know. Sorry, there's a different. There's a distance here, but. Well, an That's orientation of the field is the if you get a, If you get a kid that can hit a ball that far, yeah. well, man, I'm going to tell you something. Sign we're going to all get behind that kid. <laughs> well, that was just an example of, you know, yeah, 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 what's yeah. the durability? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, apparently I, I, it's, it's... I think, uh, I think it's a, uh, a visit to the distributor is, is necessary. Okay. Right? okay. It shouldn't it's affect it's how he's detailing the building. No, it's not going to affect It shouldn't affect anything that. other than the <laughs> five pages of spec for the material that's going to go in the spec. That's right. That's it. But like you said, I don't know if there's, I doubt that there's two other manufacturers that make that particular kind of product. It's, it's a, I'll so I don't there's know. At least well, well, look. I'm willing to bet that there are. I would say there are at you least one. And so? if there is not, there's probably another one coming before the end of well, the year. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. All right. Well, That's maybe there is. One's making and it, there someone is? else is making it. It might be an Idaho. Right. You know, the, right. all I care yeah. about is listing three. I don't care about okay. where they're from. Yeah. Okay. Because right. there's, there's no, guys out there doing, there's, there's a guy I use, he takes the hardy plank and he stains it. Yeah. And, and then, this, and then, then he sells different it. product. Yeah, it's a different <laughs> product. He has his own to go with it, but he'll sell you a hardy plank with a stain on it that looks yeah. like real wood. Yeah. Uh, so well. there's tons of guys out there. Okay. Um, so anyway, well, that's, so I don't know that's if it. we're. It's 543% thicker than regular vinyl. There you go. Religion. So it's five times. The thickness of both. Look at the website. Yeah. Sure, why not? The technology is unbelievable, isn't it? It really, it truly is. Yeah. Does that make a sample too? 
Um, or is that the well, iPhone X? Manufactures it, yeah. <laughs> we could build the building with a 3D printer. Yeah, we could have. We could have. We could have. <laughs> a lot of those house. little specs. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, all right. So. Can we give them a basement? <laughs> um, the other, the other piece of, of, I don't know if you explained uh, one of the ways that we're we're cutting on the HVAC cost is by reducing the amount of cooling and heating in this building. We're not basing it on code um, occupancy, but on, on actual occupancy. And that's how they're reducing the system. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now everybody understand that? So, okay. And everybody's in agreement like with that. Because, because we will be... be it's still, it's it's still going to be over-designed. It's, it's still... It's, it, yeah, yeah, it's just... It's not going to matter. It's will not we gonna, be warm when we need to be warm? Yes. Yeah. Cool when we need to yes. be cool? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Free it's, mittens and a stocking cap. Yeah. Right. Well, well, that's that's how the heater's over. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He's going he's he's to drive down a block of dry ice every other week. Well, no, the reason it's important to note is because in the there will be a document, which is the uh, code analysis which describes what's required by code, but there are exceptions which the local inspector can approve and go with. Um, can always override the code. They, and so I'm just mentioning these because they specifically are related to what we're doing. So uh, other than that, I mean, the I don't see any other significant um, issues. The occupancy of the training room is, is we're keeping that at 18 because that's the seating that we're showing. Technically, the occupancy is greater. Technically, the occupancy is um, 41 for that room. But we're, this, we're, just, we're just ignoring that, basically, because we know that's not going to be used for that function. Unless you guys have a party, just don't tell anybody you're having a party. <laughs> Yeah, no, but you know what I'm saying. So yeah. the, these are the yeah. kinds of, these are the ways that, that we, we we limit, what you know what is designed for, so that we don't have over designed systems we're that not, are designed we're not designing for, for the one percent. Exactly for the for the occasional use that it has. You know we have yeah, to keep yeah, it. Going back to I, I know everyone's not 100 percent happy in it and. And I, and I certainly appreciate that. I'm not taking light of it. But right now, we have a complete police station with all of the functions that the police station needs, with the exception of the Sally Quarters and all. No, Every, no, everything in his program, everything in his program is in this building. We didn't cut anything programmatically. Well, I mean, some of the physical elements that... The fixture, fixture, fixtures. Fixtures and, are and a little lighter than they could be. <laughs> yeah. And, and the equipment and furniture, but that's going to have to... So we're minimizing, we're, we're minimizing the built-in uh, cabinetry to only where it's needed because there's either plumbing or physical, you know, a real physical needs to have built-ins. Otherwise, everything's going to be furniture. So you need a storage locker, you buy a storage locker, you don't, we don't build one in. Mm -hmm. That's all. That, that minimizes the carpentry cost uh, on the installation of those items. They'll be cheaper as furniture anyway. To, you know, physically, they'll be cheaper. As long as we're so. still getting furniture. Well, that's... You'll get furniture. Get yeah. yeah. It's, so so the, 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 we got a whole year to deal with the furniture. The budget includes furniture. I mean, we're not going to build a building that's empty. Right. I mean, we have yeah. money to buy... Pull up a milk crate and sit down. Hold on. There's some. Let's talk about that for a second. Okay. Yeah. The budget has furniture. The budget has a robe. The budget has um, uh, the budget has more parking than we're showing. But as we're going through it, some of these things are becoming uh, flexible. Furniture is always the last thing bought on the job, and is always um, usually bought with uh, the balance of the contingency money. When we get past 50% on the project, we're going to know that about how much contingency money we'll have left. We can't start this building construction without a minimum of 5% contingency sitting in an account somewhere. Yep. This building should have less than 
one and a half percent in contingency. So there's going to be three and a half percent of that total budget available for furniture. But if you told me to, if I told you today that the furniture line item hasn't been shifted, I'd be lying to you because in my mind it's shifted. So I, in my mind, I'd like to have the three and a half and the furniture. But right now, I'm not thinking that way. I'm thinking right now that it's possible that some of his chairs might come over, some of his desks might come over. I don't. We haven't gotten that far yet. Right now, I'm just trying to get the entire program and the building built. The, the issue is, Mark. Is you don't have to you? award the price. Listen, <coughs> when we did this, and if when the prices come in, all right, we're going to go through that budget like we went through the budget before, and a decision will be made whether to award or not. And if you're, you're uncomfortable awarding it because you're afraid you don't have enough furniture, you can make that decision then. There's no risk at that point of saying no. You know what I'm saying? You can say no. You, you all ultimately, as a selectman, have the right to say no. We have, the, we, have the, we have the responsibility of building it, bidding it, and presenting to you the lowest and most responsible bidder that we think is within the budget. No, I get all that. I mean, I just I think we all want to just not have any surprises that we have a building and then we have no money left for the chief to have a uh, desk. I mean, that, but that the, al the alternative is that there's no building. No, I understand. I mean, I mean and that's, that's, so I think the goal is just to, is to deal with these things in, in, in order. Um, no, acknowledging that... Just send me over to we're my gonna, we're gonna need the, I'll stay here. You know, <laughs> we're going to need the driveway. We can't have it right now, most likely. We're going to still need it. We're going to still need furniture for the police station. Hopefully we get it. But that's the, diff that's the difference. I mean, we're going to need the driveway. We're going to need a sally port sooner or later. We right. can deal with sooner or later. We'll need furniture right away. Realistically, oh, we're going to get him one of those stand-up desks. <laughs> He's not getting a chair. What's furniture, realistically, what are we looking at furniture costs? It, it depends on, it really depends on how many pieces and parts we buy for the building. Some of these rooms are future growth and aren't going to have furniture in the day you open. Uh, the meeting room, the chief's office, the lieutenant's office, all those need furniture. It's not going to be a tremendous sum of money. Plus, it depends on what we buy for furniture and what grade we buy for furniture. I mean, there's a whole... Furniture's, furniture's three meetings, and we haven't even got there yet. I mean, right now, I've spent the last two months with the designer just trying to get this thing so that we can get you a bill. And I think we've got there. I really do. And I think the bids are going to come in such that we're going to be building a building. Yeah, with we a really sally port with furniture. With a sally port without furniture. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, fine. I'd go along. I, have yeah. a lot of, yeah. I had a lot of milk crates in my house. We could yeah. Do I mean, Should we they're all committed have? to getting this done the way it needs to Brand be Brand new shiny furniture or a building with a sally port? Um, <laughs> that's a hard question to ask. <laughs> That's you know, a tough uh, question. Our offices have been is, working in a substandard building forever. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd like to be able to, I'm sure the committee would like to be able to deliver a building with turnkey. Uh, with the Sally Port. With everything, you know, uh, nice, new, clean lockers, uh, uniform and size for everyone, mm -hmm. um, with enough room for the gear and equipment, uh, with, the, with the shower. Uh, I, I think uh, the administrative staff, uh, myself, the, the sergeants, uh, need office furniture. Uh, I've, quite frankly, I've been embarrassed in, in inviting other police professionals into my building because you can tell it's hand-me-down furniture, and, and it works. Don't get me wrong. It's just. It's I, think, I, I think it's, it's, it's a shame if we deliver a building and it's it's not 100 percent what we need. But I guess the point is, is that when we see the bids come in. Then we're going to have that. Well, discussion. you can decide no Sally Port for now and, and furniture. And the same thing goes I mean, for the Sally Port. You know, yeah. I, I think uh, we've talked about the, the need for Sally Port all the way along uh, mm -hmm. through this whole process. I hope we can deliver it. But if it's if if it's losing the Sally Port or losing the building, well, I'll lose the Sally Port. I mean, if it comes to the point where we're that close, I mean, and we we do award, you know, the contracts and get the building built. It, it's not like there isn't a town meeting between now and occupancy, and we would that, be able to But go that to wasn't town his meeting. question. I his question that. was, uh, is there furniture in there? Yeah. In my mind, you're three and a half percent, because if the change orders are more than one and a half percent, then your OPM and your designer have failed you, and I don't think either one of us is going to fail you based on their change order percentages and our change order percentages on new structures. I mean, the caveat is that. 
there are unforeseen, there is always something. You want to bring your attorney to the next meeting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's no guarantees, of course as we no all know. That's so why there's a 5% contingency. That's why there's a contingency. Yeah. I, listen, I, I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I'm doing school up the street in, in uh, Hanover. All right. Uh, the construction budget was uh, $26 million. I opened the four bids that we got. First bid I got was $28 million. Second bid I got was $29 million. Third bid I got was $28 million. Mm. All right? I, I had to change my underwear before I opened the fourth <laughs> bid. Fourth bid came in at $24.5. Really? All yeah, right? Really? So when we're opening the bids, we're probably going to have the same thing here. Everyone's going to pull out their revolvers and want to shoot the old yeah. man. But until the last bid's open, we really don't know what we have until we tabulate it, make sure they're responsible, but we don't know what we have. We're giving you the best professional advice we can based on a system that's worked for hundreds of years of estimating at this point, estimating at this point, you know, value engineering at that point, and we've done all that for the past two months. I think you're going to have a police station. I personally think you're going to have a sally port. I think the alternate for the sally port is going to be pretty minor, Yeah. if you want the truth. Hopefully. So I think that if we can afford the police station, we're going to end up with a sally port. But on the furniture end of it, it's really going to, I think it's going to depend on how far we go on the contingency, because in my mind, I've chewed up that 75% uh, that that well, money that I have in the budget, I forget what the amount is because it's in my budget, to make this work. I mean, I've given up three quarters of my fee and there are, to make this work. Right. I should also add that there are certain elements of functionality that that were removed from from the yeah. bid package, such as security system. Yeah. Um, such as, yeah, I don't know. Which, a couple which of security it. system? Well, um, Integrated security for you know access and things like that. It's yeah, all going to be it's all going to be prepped yeah. for it, but it's not going to necessarily be installed. ready installed. So that's FF&E. That's part of so so, so those I, I, are you know these are things that we wouldn't bid with the general contractor anyhow. Right. That we Usually would have a vendor, vendor come, come in afterwards because mm -hmm. it's under the amount to put in the endpoints. We'll run the we're going to run the conduits for all the stuff. But we, we can't get to that point where the general contractor will never afford it. Because once you start having the general mm -hmm. contractor do All things like that. All that stuff is marked up. So it's marked up mm -hmm. tremendously. Okay. Right? So, won't be so, alarmed yet. So there well, are. You will be when you open, but, but it's going to be FFE. It's going right. to be fixtures, furnitures, and equipment. That's the E of equipment. Yeah. Right? You know, so. I, I just I can't lose sight of the Sally Port. When I first, when we first started this, and I took the tour, the one thing that struck me was what the officers were looking at to bring a prisoner into that this this building. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did a little prison chasing when I was in the Marines, and the only time I felt secure, unsure, was when I was outside, and not in a structure mm -hmm. or not in a vehicle, and that. Sometimes I'm convinced that's an integral part yes, it is. of the station. But what, this, but what this does by setting it up this way is we can make a decision as a committee that we're not okay going ahead with the building without the Sally Port and we can't afford it. Sure. I mean, we can make that decision. The question is if we bid it with, with it as part of it and that's how the bids come in, we're then done. We yeah. don't have the option yeah. to say, yeah. you know what, we're going to have to go back to town meeting for a Sally Port and... and but we should move ahead and get the building built. We can still make that decision, or we can say we're okay with it and go to the selectmen and they go, no. Do, do, we, know, have, do, but do without, we have the ability to delay construction in the event that we don't have enough? Do we have the ability to delay construction until we get another not, $100,000? Not, uh, uh, no, there's so, there's so that, let's talk about yeah. that. So Chapter 149, we have, to, we have to issue a notice to proceed within 30 days of the bid. If you're going to and the and it. the file subcontractors shall honor their bids for sixty days, and there's a thirty days in between the file submitters and the generals because they bid a little earlier, and it gives the generals a couple of weeks to, to get them all under contract. Will they most likely honor their bid? Sure. Uh, if we're over by a hundred thousand dollars, do I think that we'll we'll sit down with the general contractor and see if there's a way we can get to a hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, we have the right to do that too. We have the right to sit down and negotiate, negotiate. with them after the, the, the you know after they are the low uh, responsible bidder, right? And still not award to them if we don't get there. 
So there are avenues to which we can get to that end point. We're just not there yet. We haven't, we haven't lost this battle. We're not there right? procedurally. But procedurally, there, there, we can do it. What we well, can't do is delay it. You can't say, okay, we want to pick contractor A, B, C. Oh, by the way, you're not starting for four months. We can do that if you want to put it in the bid documents. Right? If you want to say in the bid documents, construction's not starting until May 29th, yeah. knowing that you have a town sure. meeting on May 18th, we could do that. Yeah. That we can do because everyone's bidding the same thing right. and all of the vendors are bidding knowing that their construction schedule starts in June. All right? That's just chewing up escalation in my, my opinion. Either we're going to hit the target or we're not going to hit the target. I think we're going to hit the target. I mean, we put a lot of work into making this thing work. None of us are jumping up and down happy that you're not getting 100% of what you're looking for. But we are at a good 90, 95% right now. And I think we're going to get there, we're going to get there on the Sally Port. I really do. The cost difference, having the framing crew there to frame in that last bit of Sally Port is not going to be as great as you think. My big, the big problem that we hit here is the soil. All right? We, that's what chewed up the majority of this budget. It's not the design of the station. It's not the size of the station. It's we the geotech dig. report we got yeah, we that got shows we've got to dig five feet out and under this whole entire building because you got crap under the ground here. Yeah, that hurt. You know, when the glacier left and headed towards Plymouth, it left you guys with the crap, which is probably why the cranberries grow so well. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just... Dig down that five feet, get rid of it, and then that's our slab grade? No, no because then be you'll be hole. below grade. That'd be a basement. No, <laughs> you'd be handicapping. You'd be handicapping accessible by wheeling yeah. down. I would just let you know, maybe grade out the rest of it. I'm just, oh, I yeah. was just. <laughs> we looked at it. We looked yeah. at putting it in the hill. We yeah. looked at it putting it on the other side. We did look at these things. One of the problems you run into is once you start digging down and start talking about basement. You're adding a whole level of structure between the basement floor and that first yep. floor that has to be structurally sound for you know six thousand square feet. That chews up any savings that you were going to have. At prevailing wage, seventy nine dollars an hour for a carpenter that's putting up four boards a day instead of two hundred boards a day if he was working piece work at Bill's house up the street. Well, hopefully it's not quite like that, but <laughs> <laughs> points. There. Yeah, we get the idea. <laughs> so how far away from going out to bid are we? I'd say, well, well, I'd say about a month. I mean, what, well, do need, I, what do you need from us? I think Obviously, I'm going to have to go before the planning board ASAP. Yeah. Right. I, so, if you're ruling that, that's fine, but that's not how we read the bylaw. The bylaw is pretty clear. We're not, in a, we're not in a business, manufacturing, or industrial zone, and the prerequisite for that second sentence is you've got to be in those zones. Okay, you know what the you know pretty much the answer to that. It's not specifically allowed, it's not allowed. No, it's it's not asking us to do it's not a site plan approval. It's not asking us you're not to not building a one or a two family home either. But that kicks in that kicks in if you're in the if if you're in those other zones. If you're in an industrial zone and you decide to use your lot to build a house. Do you think we're having a disparate difference of opinion on the zoning bylaw? I'm not arguing with the zoning commissioner. All right. All right, but I'm telling you I'm how we interpret you it. as a member of this committee. <laughs> John, you be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go home and ask the boss what she thinks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She'll tell you. <laughs> you might possibly be right. So <laughs> that's, that's better. Than that is take, the biggest take, compliment I've got from yeah. since I started You'll here. You'll never get much more. <laughs> <laughs> Mark tape on this one. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't tighten up your bylaw. Yeah. All right? I'm not, because I think you should. You know, your bylaw's pretty thin to begin with. I like it thin. If it's not, you know, black or white, you know what I mean? Yet allowed or not allowed, I send it to Board of Appeals and make it black or white for yeah. me. <laughs> right. Period. I think this is black and white. We're I in don't like interpreting the bylaw. We're in the Where residence district. <laughs> Here it comes again. Yeah. So what do we need to do to get well, this to bid? Well, uh, I'd like I'd like us to talk about before we dismiss today, as our final 
discussion on this, what our alternates are going to be and what the order of the alternates are going to be. This is extremely important. I'm sorry, Zell. No, I, I was just going to add. You gave me a look of death. I was going to just add that when you think about alternates, um, you have to think about the fact that the more alternates you have, the less likely they're going to want to really put a yeah, sharp pencil right. on it. So uh, don't go overboard with not going overboard with alternates. A couple of alternates is okay. Three, maybe. Sally Boy. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go <laughs> much French beyond that. Will the bidders know that about these alternates and separate these out? Because they, they'll be on the bid form. They're going to be they required have to, to be. fill them yeah. out. And that's why it's it's. There's it's, a lot of work that he and I have to do on the bid forms to make this a legally. Well, situation. I have one other question. How does uh, the town of, of Plimpton do its public bidding, bidding now? What process do you use? They haven't bid a project since 1862. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> 149 didn't yeah. exist. <laughs> okay. All right? Okay. okay. So okay. I'm, envi okay. I'm envisioning that Central we're probably market. going to go to Project Dog because they don't have staff here to deal with it. Okay. So, so they have, have it do electronically it. done. Okay. I uh, just but I want the bids to not be electronically received. I well, want they, the they bids be received here. to be received here. Sure, sure. That's fine. And open here. I don't trust the electronic bidding yep. yet. No, no, no. That's okay. that's fine. I, but I, I was I just do, curious. I do trust the electronic distribution. Oh, sure. They don't have a staff. No, no. To I, distribute I, I get it. I get it. To, I just, I mean, to distribute addendas and all the things that are required, and it costs next to nothing to, to have uh, Project is, Dog do it. Yeah, Project Dog, huh? Well, well, there's a few. There's a couple there. of there's bid companies. Dogs online bid Docs online and is Project one. Dog. We use we, Project Dog in P3. Oh, you because, do? Yeah, okay. We, well, you can. Fantastic. You can. Yeah, you can manage that. Anyway. Yeah, I don't mind managing. It. Okay. I'll do okay. anything well, I can to get this. We'll just to upload the, the documents and. What happens it's is a, the it's a, in the old days, the subcontractors would give you a check for 150 bucks and then take a set of drawings. Yeah. Okay. You give and, them drawings. And then you'd give them drawings at the end of the bidding. They'd send you the drawings back and you give them the 150 dollars back. Or they and then you give all the sets to the general to start construction. What happens now is most of the subcontractors are bidding this off of the tele uh, computer. Yeah, they just look so, it and up. And that's free. So the, all of these drawings will be uploaded to Project Dog. You can go on and look at them, mm. look at the spec book, and, and bid them that way. So it, it, it reduces the amount of printing that Paperwork. the community has to, to do. Because we'd have to print all of the drawings. And you're looking at about 100, 150 bucks a set to print. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so, so I have a question. How did, size, how did so. the school go out to bid? How did? Why are you looking at me? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't go does, to school. Does anybody no. remember how the no, school we did, went out? The way we did it for the water treatment is we went through and put it up on this on central, the state, register. central register. And well, the that's, well, you, no, that, you that, that, do that's that automatic. Yeah. That's, that's what he's talking about is the physical And then our consultant... Um, did manage the, the bid yeah. drawing process and then did electronic. He yeah. did it electronically, but he also, and we the amount it. of drawings you had isn't going to be like this. It is not anything. It, it's many more than I thought you'd ever need, but it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah unfortunately. For a couple of filters and some pipe. Yeah, yeah. But, um, and some green sand. But we, but we, you know, we, we put that to the, because we had nobody here. To, to do it, even, even we had to use this. We had to use the school to put it up from the central register, even because well, the school was, was built. Left. <laughs> so we we had someone who we had someone who who was, who was able to do it, but we had to get permission and then just do that. So are we looking at trying to issue to bid in this calendar year? Because that would be, you know, putting it out. The, Maybe a uh, week before. If we are, it would be late December. Time. It doesn't matter. It's going to be late. It really doesn't yeah. matter. I think I'm looking at the bid should be coming in around the third week of January. For GCs? For, for, for subs. For file for, sub bids okay. in the first week of January for, I mean, okay. February for the general contract. Okay. That gives them no, five weeks. No, that's good. Weeks. It gives us that time. That gives five weeks for them to start doing their all of their uh, rebar drawings, yeah, because all that nothing stuff. happens over over the holidays anyway. Right, right. I yeah. want them to focus on it, and 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 that gives them all of March and early April to get um, 
to get all of the paperwork necessary to get the submittals in for the foundations, the framing, and all that stuff, yeah. so they can hit the ground running oh, yeah. and compact their actual construction. That's how you're going to get this to be cheaper. Well, we're going to have to limit. We're going to have to tell them, yeah, duration, and we're going to have to mm -hmm. sort of squeeze them and see if it flies. And we should be able to do that. I, I don't see this taking any more than eight months. Eight months nine, at the most. Maybe nine. So when will we be breaking ground again? Uh, so probably March late March, early April. Yeah, when the okay. when it thaws. Before, <laughs> before town meeting, there'll be fences up and signs up, and and you you can go to town meeting, do a report that construction started on the police station. Yeah. Right, which is pretty admirable considering that where we are. Okay, so, so we'll, we'll, we'll advertise right. advertise when you want to go to advertise. You and I can go over all those dates. Okay. All right. We'll, yep. I'll write the ad. Yeah. I'll write the ad. I'll write the central register ad. I'll write the combines ad. Yep. I'll write the uh, uh, lo local ad for the newspaper, and I'll send it to your new town administrator to, to submit to your local paper, and we'll be off and running. All right. There's a certain way the ad has to be written. There's a certain way that. That central register has to be written. Yep. We have to have a walkthrough for the people yeah. to come out and look at That's the trees. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. Can't just put up a sign that says police oh, yeah. station wanted. We, <laughs> yeah, we also, you know, oh, yeah. we, yeah, what's I want to get the, I can't, I can't put the trees out to bid till I know how many trees to take down. Yeah, so. well, we, we, I think, I think they've, they've sort of calculated the area. Now they've got to actually do the grading and figure out how deep we're going. But I think that that they're showing, what they're showing is more I or think less it's going to be they're smaller they're than that. Well, I hope so, but I, that's what uh, they're that's showing good, me. I'll, I'll talk to them and see where they're at. Right. Who's the engineer for that? G GGD actually has civil. Right. Don't they actually have their own site? Aren't they the ones that did the electrical? Yeah, and the HVC yeah. And yeah. And yeah. Yeah. They do a lot of... Tom X now doing civil. Great. What, what's the initials of those? G -G -G GGD. GGD. Garcia, Galuska, and... and um, so they really forget. overworked the other systems. Are they going to do the same with this? Well, we already are. I mean, the initial, the, the, that initial. No, they, we, they already site. overworked it. <laughs> yeah. We've already cut it back. Yeah, we, we cut right. it way back. I way mean, back. Just, yeah. I mean, they had probably a $200,000 oh, underground yeah. system yeah. Yeah. underneath the parking lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, to take care, to take of, care the, of the storm. Well, that's because they didn't, storm, you know, right? we didn't tell them that oh, we could take down the rest of the trees and do yeah. anything else. So a that's giant underground reservoir. You know, it was like, what do you do? That was the chief swimming pool being took <laughs> <out> <laughs> of the banks. We were worried it. We were worried it was so low it would interfere with the basement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the basement. That was my main concern. <laughs> Lap pool. Okay, so the alternate. Alternates. So oh, yeah. the, the alternates are widening the road and the Sally Port. Um, well, well, Sally Port is number one. We know yeah. that. Yeah. Now, do you want to widen the road or do you want to do any more than just widen the road? I'm just, while we're talking. Uh, I, I, I honestly think. Just drive, widen that driveway. I, I honestly think that we sh I, I I think we own, as a, a community, the road out to 48 <coughs> being designed. All right, now whether we want to do that as an outlet, I personally do not want to do that as an outlet, but I do want it designed. Mm. All right, and the reason I want it designed is because we're definitely going back to town meeting it's to gonna do that be roadway. Yeah. Okay. We well, are, that's that's changed since the last meeting then. So, I mean, I, I'm guessing. We, well, the thing is. We're, we're going to get a police station first. We're not yeah. going to, I mean, I, I understand and we never that. promise. We never promised the road. We couldn't promise the road based on the We never concerns. promised the road. But we said if we had enough, we'd do it. So but we need it. So if they design it, if we put it in an alt bid, uh, and we, the bids do come in under what they, we're they, expecting, they, the 2.4? So the, re the, reason, the reason I want to see it designed is um, we can increase the scope of the work of the general contractor after we award it, and we can sit down with them and say, hey, can you bring I, this out? Well, okay. I don't. I don't suggest I it. don't. Okay. Not sure you can you can slip in what was an alternate as a change order later. No, 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 no. I'm not saying to do it as an <laughs> alternate. Like, okay. I don't oh, think you should oh, put it as oh. an alternate. No, if if it's not in the original bid and you just want a big right. change order, yeah. sure, my, that's okay. My thought on it is, okay. that makes if sense. it's well, what I'm saying. if it's designed and we have a rough idea of how much it's going to cost from the design, mm -hmm. 
We can go to town well, meeting. We, we can, yeah, we we can go to town to. meeting because at that point we will know what the bid is and what other alternates we've selected and if there may or may not be some money left at the back end that we can apply right. towards the driveway. And then at least we can go to town hall, a town meeting and say, we couldn't quite get everything, but the remainder is going to cost X and right. do we want to do it? And do you want to do it? And if town meeting says they want to do it, we do it. If town meeting says you don't want to do it, we've completed and that way, it's mm -hmm. also we could negotiate it in later if it's not part of it. But the that road has always been a part of the project. I understand that. So I'm not. I get that. I'm not I, trying to. I just. Throw I, a there's also. Because you, you, like you were about to. Well, well, I'm not. Well, we can discuss this with our consultants. But, but I thought. But there's the other. The other half of the work is all the state approvals going to have to go through to get that. Road I, I understand, in. and but that's another whole process that you let us worry about the state. Approvals. Okay, okay, all right. Okay. Okay. That's where we call our state rep and tell them to get us our approval. And all right. So your your question about widening the driveways is just the road around. The just back just right. this but one. I guess just with that, is it widening the drive? I mean, if we have, we're, we're not touching the existing pavement out here. We're well, that was the idea was to minimize cost. That, that again, that has to do with the, cutting costs. Is the is the alternate widening the driveway and then seal add coat on top and of it. seal coating the or covering? Well, yeah, we'd probably I, I mean, do something. It, because probably, at that point, then yeah, you're... Yeah, you already got, they're already on site. But then it's, 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 the material is cheap. Right. It's the alternate one's going to be the salad bowl. Do we no. all agree alternate one's the salad bowl? No. Absolutely. No? No. Yes. I mean, I really don't agree with it because when we went to town meeting, we had a picture of the police station as it was located oh, okay. over here showing a driveway, and a picture is worth a thousand words. Yeah, I really think we need it. to design that entrance and make that alternate number one. But then the you entrance? Know, what happens if we the don't road. get the sally port? Because we no, have to, t no, we have to no, take... Bob, I, Bob, I completely disagree. I can tell you, as someone who did all the public presentations, yeah. we never told them. We told them specifically we the told opposite. Specifically because that we didn't if, if we the had the money, we'd do it. the location of the station then. But did we, we? We told them in every public presentation and on the materials that we handed out and the stuff we handed out at, at the transfer station, everything said that it was it was a, it was a separate piece and we were going to do it if we could. It was a goal. Budget, it was a goal. It was a goal, but that's yeah. not part of the budget that we because submitted. We have to do. We have to take these alternates in order, correct? Correct. We, we can't mm -hmm. cherry pick. We can't cherry pick. Nope. So if if, nope. if option one, if alternate one is the driveway and alternate two is the sally port. And we can't get to alternate two. You can get a driveway it. with no sally port. Right. That's that, the see, that's, that's that's the pain in the ass that one four so nine is. I, I didn't think we had an exact location at the time of town meeting of where the station was going to go. Well, we had it. Well, well, yeah. it's pretty close. Well, we had a rough idea, and we're we're actually pretty close. It. In the rough it's idea. just it's just going to be twenty five feet. It's going to be twenty five feet. We had a rough idea back. that there was going to be a sally port on it too. And, and our goal is to have the sally But you can't port. see That's it on the mind. rendering. You can't see, but, but can't see the can't see the sally port on the rendering. But but the but the, the point with the sally port, and and I think we all feel very strongly that it needs to be part of this project, is if you make it part of the bid without it being an alternate, then we may get bids in that are all two hundred thousand dollars above what we have the money for. At which point. You get nothing. We're, we're done. Yeah. Well, and, and everything is off. What number and we have to go back and get more money. What number alternate do you want to give it, though? I mean, one. one. want it to be number it's, one? It is it's absolute. Number one. I mean, we want the police station with it. But with the alternate, we get the opportunity to make a tough decision about whether we move forward and make sure we get that police station in there. or. But I think everybody here wants to, to just have alternate one be part of the project. But if we make it, it's, make it two, and we can't afford it as two, then you get the police station with no sally port in the driveway. Or maybe just a widened Right. Drive. I mean, we may not even, well, you get the we widened not, drive. That's a lot cheaper. Get, yeah, <laughs> the, the cheap. cost to do, the cost to, we may get the police station and not be able to do any alternates because right. the cost of that drive going 58 is sky high because the guy didn't want to do it. And he put a number that was high. So let me ask this. The widening of this part of the driveway, is this something we can do in-house? Is this something Jim Mulcahy can well, do? Or is it just better to move I, I have to be honest with you. I, I talked to Jim Mulcahy. He, he's your hiring surveyor. When we were over here looking at clearing a little area, it doesn't sound like he has a whole hell of a lot of 
equipment. No, I doesn't. have the feeling okay. yeah. that his budget is based on his chapter 90 monies yeah. that yes. come in. And this yeah. won't qualify for chapter 90. Okay. All right? the, other, the, other, the other learning, if you go take a ride up to the Dennett and look at that whole driveway and the area in front of the school and the parking lot to the side, and that is a piecemeal yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. And it is, it is, it is, it's slipping fast into a problem. And what I'm concerned with out here, if, if we don't do anything and we have to do it later, then great. We do what we gotta do. But if we're gonna do the widening of the back driveway here, we need to do something to kind of make sure everything connects and that everything has a nice, that doesn't, that there aren't lots of these seams. Because as you know on the roads and you, and you can see in the upper Dennett, all of the problems are where the seams are, you know, and, and more. Salt and water get in, expand, and boom. And, and so, you know, you, you end up, be fine for the next 10, 15 years, but 20 years from now, it's gonna be a mess over here and then you're gonna to have to pay to take it all up and put it down okay. again. So, I mean, but can we go back to the, can we go back to that discussion we had a little bit earlier about the, the big driveway in front and about what happens if you make it an alternate rather than designing it and trying to make it work within the budget later on? I mean, so if, if, it's, if it's, let's say it's alternate three and we say, and we, we decided we're not gonna do it, but then wanna go back later, or it's not an alternate. What was that discussion? Like you can't Okay, so, it so it, it, I, let, I'll give you the example. So yep. we have Altlet 1, uh, Sally Port, Altlet 2, road and, and resurfacing. We'll call it road and resurfacing. And then Altlet 3 is Route 58 access, okay? Um, if we do accept Altlet number one, great, we're all happy. I can't then go have the contract to do number three. And the reason I can't have the contract to do number three is we're gonna do a tabulation of all the bidders. We're gonna get probably five or six bidders, hopefully, maybe even more, because it's a small project. And the order of which you choose your alternates will determine the final bid amount. That's right. And that could change who's number one. Oh yeah. So we could be number one with uh, contractor X, who includes Yep. The Sally Port. But contractor Y would be number one if we had the Sally Port and the repaving. And contractor Z might be number one if we have all three. So if we went with contractor Y and we took one and two, we have just stole a bid from contractor Z if we added in that piece of work to contractor yep. Y. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there is the so there's the potential if you did two alternates as you were just describing and not doing Route 58 access, that if everything worked out well, mm -hmm. that you could go back to the back to that contractor and say, geez, you know, things have gone really well, what about doing 58 after mm. they've been hired? Only if it's Only not an all. No, it right, can't, but, it that's, can't, it can't. but that's mm -hmm. my, that's my point. Right. That's what I'm trying to that's get That's why at. I don't want to make it an all. That, Did you copy that, Bob? Did you, you understand that? That's why I'm trying, I'm just trying to make that point again. We can have the contract to do anything we want. Yeah, as a change bid, order. It's as a change order. Yeah. Anything. All right? Should you not exceed 10%, you're not supposed to. Right. All right? It's not change a good orders, thing to, but it's supposed to stay under 10. It's probably less than 200K to, right. to do that road. But yeah. It's probably less than 200K to do yeah. that road at this yeah. point in time. I, I mean, I will be happy if we have the design for you know, going up to 58. Whether or not we get it, and as long as we have the design, That's we have to go about. back. Yeah. I'll live with Well, it can be just, it'll just be March, March. I'm looking at him because you just did a 180. Yeah. 15 I minutes ago, you were beating me over the head. I had to do a 180. It's either, it's black or white. I mean, you either have to agree, it's yes, it's allowed, it's not, or no, it's not allowed. So you, it, you it, gotta go one way or the other. No, no, it's allowed if you wanna make it an alternate, but we can't have this contract to do it. If we can't afford it at the beginning of awarding the bid. I don't know who he is, but he's probably a jerk anyway. But believe it or not, <laughs> we may is choose. Is this how I lost my basement recently? Because I haven't seen a pizza to bank up for that. <laughs> right. There's the pizza. I'm getting to lose <laughs> it. Right he out. had to pull the pizza out to reduce his Bobbing feet. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the basement and pizza. He wants me to take a loss based on pepperoni. You missed it today. He brought in Chinese food and, and fed the whole, whole today, town hall. Yeah. The whole town hall? Any leftovers? Yeah. Oh, they're probably in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. so. So you want the design as part of this package. It'll be marked future NIC. Right. 
That's how it's going to go out to bid. Yeah, right. Or so okay. our, our future by owner, not NIC, by owner. NIC by owner. Okay. I don't want them even looking at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, no, no, it's I, gonna I, just it's jack up their price. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand. Right. Okay. Well, this is why I asked the question because yep. the, the alternative is not to have it in the set. I mean, we could we get it designed, and it well, just I, gets I, I, I done later. I prefer it not to be on the on the drawings if well, you're going to give me, you know, a small sheet that has the complete design. I think that would be better for everybody. That's that way, way we I can asked. go to town well, meeting with the design, if you choose to go to town meeting. Right. If we have to, and if we choose. To. If you <coughs> have to, and if you choose, and if you don't have to, we can hand it to the contractor and say, "Price this up." Yep. J just for future planning, did I hear you say you thought maybe it'd be two hundred thousand to do the fifty? All, all, uh, it's just guess at, at this point. Yeah. I'm just saying it's because we're assuming that if the bid is two million, yeah. I'm assuming that. We can't exceed 10%. They're not supposed to exceed more than 10% for any change order on a project, a single change order. And that's the only reason. And I think that for that much roadway, it seems like probably 200 grand is more than enough money, but it's just a guess. Well, it's a rough magnitude. I mean, it seems I'm like concerned about the grades of getting there, to be honest with you, and I think there's a little work that has to be put into that. Well, that we have to it's going to be a steep slope. We all oh. know it's going to be a steep drive. It's yep. going to be eight, eight foot. Eight foot over 30 feet. It just it feels like this would be a pretty easy sell at town meeting. Um, to get the road. Especially once yeah. you've got construction going on. Yeah. Once, you see, once you have a frame going up and people see that you're not kidding around, that this is the real deal, that you did do your job, you got it done, you didn't succumb to pressure and put in a basement, and you built a police station. <laughs> Pressure, what pressure? Instead of just a basement. <laughs> no, but it, it's no, an no, easy You don't build me a basement, you're going before the site It's an add-on, it's, add it's that... Uh, What's the Bob? Stop talking. So we have two an embellishment that it yeah. makes all the sunk, sunk costs. People think I think that's you think that's I mean, I really you don't want to go crazy with stuff like that. They really don't. Start you start to right. Oh, oh just a little more. Bits. Yeah, it just okay. it, they get they know that something's so up. The more alters are, they know that the money is. It's a funny psychological thing. They won't but go yeah, after I mean, a job we, because it's all the The siding and the trim right now is being detailed. Right. The siding and trim. You know, you know, a lot of these guys. Okay, and, and on the change orders yeah. and things. Mm -hmm. I got to do some right? work on this. And that's his job but to keep that. Yeah, yeah. Send them well, I know ours too, but, but, but yeah, but so so the idea is that you don't want to go overboard. So, meeting in three weeks probably. I don't have anything else. I'm excited everyone's in a good mood today. Are these the same plan? So, no. We're, we're just selling wood and they got a new printer. That's it. And, and the roadway with the new seal yeah. coat. Yeah, big print. We got a printer, a little print to use. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Welcome to the 21st century. That's not a printer, center. that's a plotter. Yeah, not to touch it. He's got a big memory. Can't you just see him, Mr. Moderator, need another thousand dollars for paper? Ink. Uh, <laughs> Ink. Toner. <laughs> okay, so our next meeting is the three weeks? Yeah, I'd say three weeks. Which, which is December the week? 20th. Is that part? Ooh. Yeah, I'm okay I think, with the 20th. Well, or the 13th. That'll be right before I, we go to bed. Wait a minute. I, I'm taking, gonna, well, I'm going to be on vacation the week it's before Christmas week. Everybody can bring me week. presents that time of year. So that's the week before, that's right? Yeah, it's the week before. Oh, okay. Christmas so is, uh, Christmas 20, is on 20, Sunday the 25th. 25th. Right, Monday. so that week. Monday. So this Monday. is the week, the week of Christmas. I mean, this Christmas week. week. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm, the, I'm off the week bef before that. So three weeks, okay. And you and I can talk about Redux. You're going to have to do it quick. Well, let's just send Jeff. What, more Redux? <laughs> no, what, bid Dux. Oh, bid Dux. No. I thought you no. <laughs> More Redux. I think we're pretty close. Well, let's hope so. That's, yeah, that was the idea. So you decided on the 20th? So we're all set for the 20th? Yeah. And presumably it goes out to bid right after that meeting? But it'll probably go out to bid the f in within two the weeks after the that. The first week of January, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably the January. Go through. The first right. week Which of January. Bid opening early February? Yeah. Some General like bids opening early February. Yeah. File subcontractors. Within like two weeks. You, know, you want me to explain that all over again? No. no. File subcontractors? No. 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 All right. Right. And, and we take the lowest, lowest There's special bid. people that need special rules. Well, usually. There's yes. special people yes. that need special rules that are well, more protected than a spotted turtle. 
Okay, all set then? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Good night. Thanks for watching. Good job, guys. So, so will you bring in the Chinese food on the